Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in the Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can deploy our Selenium script in Heroku, but this time I will not say for free, like I have said in all of my other episodes, because as you see right here, Heroku announced that from 28th of November, very Heroku dinos will no longer be available. Either way, if you still want to use Heroku, let me show you how to do it. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Now let's open our folder in Visual Studio Code. Now if you saw right here, I run a command in terminal, code the dot. But either way, you can just open Visual Studio Code and then open the folder from there. Okay, so let's create a main.py. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and first of all, copy an example. So let's go ahead and get this one right here. Okay, so as you see, we're using Selenium, but also I'm using Chrome driver auto installer, this package right here. And this allows us to auto install basically Chrome driver, the correct version. Now, one thing I want to mention is that Heroku doesn't really know which packages we are using. So what we have to do is create another file called requirements. There we go. And here you have to specify your requirements. So Selenium and also Chrome driver auto installer. Now, if you want to specify which version you can do equal and then the version number. So 1.9, for example, of one or something like that. In my case, if we don't specify anything, it will install the latest version, which is fine with me. So let's go ahead and do that. And now next, what I would like to do is print and then print the driver title. And that's all we have to do. I don't really have to do anything else. By the way, in this video, I'll also show you how you can do it with GitHub and Heroku CLI. So what you can do is go on the timestamps and you can skip to either methods, but make sure you don't skip this part right here of the setup because you might miss some of the settings. Okay, so next, what we have to do is create the proc file. There we go. So we will say web equals to, or you can name it whatever you want, but I'll show you later on as well. You have to go ahead and enable it if it's not named web, but web by, by default is, is defined. Now, before I go any further, I want to mention what is proc file. Well, basically here on the proc file, we specify what Heroku should run, which command in order for our script to run. So here we give it the name of the command and we say Python main.py. So basically we are saying Heroku run Python main.py. Now, if you give it another name, again, I'll show you in a little bit how you can enable it yourself, but I'll leave it to web. So it's auto enabled. Now there's a few changes we have to do in order for this to work. So if you already have a script, I will just copy paste the changes right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this is. First of all, I have to remove this. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we are creating the Chrome options. Then we are defining the Google Chrome bin, basically the binary location. Then we are specifying some settings like headless. We also disable dev usage. And then we are also saying it's not, it's no sandbox. Basically, this is the settings that you put on your script whenever you want to go in production. We also specify here the executable path of our Chrome driver. And actually, we don't need that because, yeah, let me delete it because we will install the Chrome driver by using a Heroku build pack. So let's go ahead and go in Heroku. Let's create a new new app. Let's give it the name of Python and then a random number and create an app. 
Then let's go straight into settings before we deploy anything and let's create our build packs. Okay, so let's go ahead and annulled build pack. Let's specify Python here and save changes. So Heroku Google Chrome Master or actual Google Chrome by itself. There we go, save changes. There we go, perfect. And then next, Heroku Chrome Driver. There we go. Okay, so basically we installed Google Chrome and then the Chrome Driver and also Python. This is the build packs you want for your app. Next, let's go and deploy. And for this time, we will go with Heroku Git. So let's go ahead and download and install Heroku CLI. So by clicking this link, you will get redirected to this page. And if we scroll down, you can see right here, we have a Mac OS option, a Windows option, and then you also have Linux and some other stuff. But usually you are either Mac OS or Windows. So if you are Windows, you can click this link, then open the installation, and then follow the steps and install Heroku CLI. Now, if you are with Mac, then just copy this command, run it, and that's all you have to do. Now I have already installed it, so I don't have to do anything. Make sure to see this warning about Windows. So if you're installing it with Windows, you will get a warning. So make sure you click more info, verify the publisher as salesforce.com, and then click the run anyway button. Okay, so let's go back. And then as you see, we will just follow these steps. Okay, so what you can do is go on your folder, right click, and then new terminal folder. And this will open on terminal in your folder. And let's go back. There we go. Okay, so first of all, let's run Heroku login so we can log in through our terminal to Heroku. Okay, so just click login, and that's basically it. So let's go back. Now the next step is to go in your folder, which we already have done. But if you haven't done that, then you can do CD by opening a terminal first, and then your path location for your folder. Okay, next we have to copy this command right here. Actually, no, first we have to do git init to initialize a git folder. Then we have to connect our local git folder with Heroku's git folder. Perfect, and then we have to deploy your application. Now, whenever you want to update your application while in production, what you can do is run those three commands again. So every time you make a change on your application, you will basically rerun these commands. So let's go ahead and do that. Git add dot, git commit dash am, and then a message here. We can say initial deployment or specify any changes you have done. There we go. And then basically git push. Actually, no git push, Heroku master. And there we go. So the app is deployed. So what we'll go ahead and do now is go on resources. And why is there no resource? Okay, there we go. So we had to refresh. And as you see, we have our proc file resource here. So what we had specified on our proc file. Now, again, like I said before, if your naming it was not web, what we'll go ahead and do is go on your proc file or your, basically your resource, edit it, make sure you enable here and then click confirm. And that's basically it. Okay, so next what we will do is go on our terminal and then run Heroku logs does a stale and here we'll make sure the script runs successfully and probably not okay so it crashed okay so this is depressed the executable path so we probably have to do that okay let's try that and yeah so like i said before what we will do is git add git commit now i say here 
fixed path issue and then git push Heraku master and there we go our changes were successfully deployed so let's go ahead and run Heroku logs tail again and basically this command if I did not specify it before what it does is it displays logs so that's it okay so why do we get the same error oh okay so this is why this is happening okay so first of all I have to go back go to environment variables if I can there we go and here specify the chrome driver path and basically the chrome driver path is always the same and it's that by the way i'll leave this in the description and also the build packs so you can find them there and basically that's it now what we have to do again we have to push again in order for our changes to take effect or to push Heroku master but also run the git add and git commit and there we go so let's run heroku logs does a tail again and if we there we go so you see it successfully worked so it says welcome to python.org which is basically the title of the website so yeah this is it for heroku cli now let's go back and let's see now how we can do it for github so again let's do new create a new app let's do python github and then a random number and create an app now basically what we have to do is first of all let's go on finder and let's do shift command dot and then on dot git let's delete the file from heroku cli as we will need to create a new .git file which will represent the git for our github and not for Heroku CLI. okay so first of all let's go on github and here you will have to specify your repo but not yet first let's do git init and actually let's go on our github let's create a new then let's set for the name selenium heroku let's make it public by the way i have the link down in the description and then let's create repository perfect so let's do git app dot git commit and then let's do first commit and then we have to remotely add it to our git there we go and then push to master but you can use a branch if you want and there we go so now let's refresh and that's all we have to do by the way something i did and i did doing the heroku cli method is i deleted here the executable underscore path equals to as that method is depressed now we immediately set the chrome driver path as so so make sure you do that change if you haven't already and let's continue so first of all um let's go on settings and we need to install some build packs so first build pack will be python next build pack will be heroku dash google chrome lastly we have to install a build pack called chrome driver and there we go that's it now also we have to go on config vars and then specify the chrome driver path there we go and that is this one right here perfect and then let's go on deploy github make sure to connect your github first and then by saying selenium h you don't have to say the whole name you don't have to type the whole name click enter and then connect now you have a few options here so you can enable automatic deploys 
So every time you deploy something in your GitHub, then you will automatically deploy the changes in Heroku as well. And here you can select the branch if you want a different branch. So I'll go ahead and do that. But for the first time, you have to select the branch and then deploy manually. Or you can just push some changes, but this is easier. So let's do that. Now, in order to see what is going on, we will have to go ahead and use the logs that Heroku provides us. So I'll show you in a bit how we can do that. And there we go. So let's go back on our terminal. And then let's run Heroku logs this is tail. Mm -hmm. And it will probably give me an error. There we go. And let's say right here. Okay. And then I also have to do does this up and specify our application name so we can get the log. So this is our application name. So let's copy paste. And as you see, it successfully worked. And as you see right here, it says welcome to python.org. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you need any help. You can also join our Discord server. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos, which I'll also do how to deploy in Vercel as well for free, both Selenium and Puppeteer. And I will also show how you can do that with Amazon Lambda. So yeah, see you in the next video.